Well, election 2015 will be an election like no other. Not only is it the first where we're actually going to hit the federal fixed election date uh, that was put out in law several years ago, but also there's an emergence of new groups. We've told you about the ongoing union campaigns. We told you about Engage Canada, a grassroots group made up of unions that are spending a lot of money to try and unelect the Harper government. They just want a progressive option in there. Now we've got Harper PAC. Hmm. Stephen Taylor with me now. Uh, you're one of the people involved. You're not the only person. Tell me about Harper PAC, how this came together, what you guys hope to achieve. Are you just the, the antidote to the union groups? Well, look, uh, we saw, of course, the uh, the rise of Engage Canada, this uh, essentially super PAC on the left, uh, funded by uh, these uh, big union bosses. And uh, they have claimed they have uh, earmarked uh, I think three to five million dollars uh, to spend on anti Harper advertising. I think now, they, now that, that's on top of what the unions are spending themselves. Like Unifor has their own ads, yeah. And so this this Engage Canada is on top of that, right? So, I mean, we saw this play in Ontario years ago with the uh, Working Families Coalition. Uh, spent uh, I think over five million dollars to run ads against uh, leaders like Tim Hudak. So. I think we had to respond on the right. We had to come up uh, with a, a group that was uh, you know, funded by everyday Canadians to uh, take on uh, the big money of the, of, of the unions uh, to uh, make, as they said, Harper, quote unquote, unelectable. You have a, a lot of former political staffers hmm. on board. You've got an advisory board. Is that what you're calling it? Ad, advisory council. Advisory yeah. council. Okay. And number of people on it, names I recognize, like Chris Froggett, Jamie Allerton, uh, people who have been in politics a long time but stepped away. They've mm -hmm. gone back into the private sector. Are they funding it? Are you being funded by, we know, Engage Canada has Unifor and the United Steelworkers. I mean, do you have the the CEO's council or something behind you? Is this, is this the Chamber of Commerce move? Are you backed by big business? Is Bay Street funding this? Uh, I have not received any calls from Bay Street on this. They haven't uh, <laughs> written me any checks uh, for Harper Pack, but uh, we're reaching out to uh, every uh, Canadian of uh, from all walks of life, uh, every um, uh, level of affluence to be able to help us fight back against uh, what is uh, in, uh, engage Canada. I mean, I, I kind of envy them. They only really had to ask four people to pony up millions of dollars. <laughs> we, we, we have to add, probably ask millions of Canadians to help match their effort. Okay, well, uh, I'm about being fair. And when mm -hmm. Engage Canada released their ad, mm -hmm. it's a TV ad, um, fact checked it. So sure. we're going to play your ad now. And there's not really a lot of facts to check, but I'll ask you if it's, sure. if it's a fair comparison. Because the first ad is for radio, and it talks about comments Justin Trudeau made on Global. After months of mistakes, Justin Trudeau's poll numbers are free-falling. Canadians from coast to coast now think he is unfit to be Prime Minister. But who does Trudeau blame for his low poll numbers? He blames Canadian voters. That's right. Trudeau says Canadians are cynical, and that's why we don't like him. If Trudeau is so immature that he blames Canadians for his problems, can we really trust him to make hard decisions as Prime Minister? So is the Liberals are saying, he never said that. That's not fair. Tom Clark on West Block asked him about, why are you down in the polls? And he, he said cynicism. Are you stretching what he said? Well, he is saying that Canadians are not engaging with him or his party because they're generally cynical about the political process. He is blaming the general state of cynicism for why they haven't connected with him. So I think it's fair comment to say he is blaming others for his failure to connect with um, Canadians. Is uh, Harper Pack going to be uh, running ads that you know, say, here's why you should support Stephen Harper? Or is it all going to be against Trudeau? Or are you going to look at Mulcair? Mulcair right now, up in the polls. What are your future plans? Well, I think we're going to highlight uh, the important choices that Canadians have uh, to make in October. Uh, those choices are, of course, uh, you know, based on a, a number of candidates. So we're going to be highlighting uh, the record uh, of, um, you know, Mr. Harper, uh, Mr. Trudeau, Mr. Mulcair on a variety of issues, uh, whether or not um, 
the NDP and the Liberals are going to depend on the Bloc Québécois uh, this time around to help them uh, wrest power uh, from Conservatives and maybe a minority situation. So there are a lot of political scenarios that we are anticipating and that we are trying to form a conversation around. You are essentially allowed to spend a lot of money mm -hmm. if you can raise a lot of money. Right. Uh, you can spend a lot of money ahead of the election. Yep. Ahead, uh, ahead of the official writ period, but once the election is officially called, mm -hmm. you're spending, it doesn't have to stop, but it's severely curtailed. Yeah, that's right. And it's not as if we're new on the scene. I mean, I did bring up the Working Families uh, Coalition before, mm -hmm. attacking Tim Hudak, um, brought up Engage Canada. The unions have been doing this kind of thing uh, in a variety of jurisdictions for a long time. Uh, other, other groups have, um, I mean, uh, PSAC has the Stephen Harper Hates Me campaign uh, going since I think he got elected. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's not as if uh, activities that occur outside the writ, it's not as if these, these types of groups or this type of political speech is new, um, but I think we grabbed a lot of attention by calling it PAC which uh, was a bit deliberate. So, <laughs> right. uh, so yeah. if people are interested, it's harperpack.ca. Yeah, right? harperpac, harperpac.ca. Right. Stephen Taylor, thanks so much. Right, thank you.